this headline jumped out at me, and I have a, a massive, massive heart for redemption and restoration. And boy, this just couldn't have grabbed me anymore. Headline from Employee Benefit News. HR says employees with criminal records are beneficial, but still won't hire them. <laughs> I could just finish the segment on that alone. I mean, this sounds like politicians. This is so mind-numbingly stupid. HR says employees with criminal records are beneficial. They're valuable, but they won't hire them. Let's break it down. A third of American workers, 33%, have a criminal record. Sometimes for something like marijuana. And I'm not getting into that conversation, but I'm just telling you. 33% of a criminal record. That does not mean that they are killers walking around on the street here, folks. New research from the Society of Human Resource Management, which is the gold standard for human resource professionals, found that while HR managers are becoming more open open to hiring these employees, more work needs to be done. Listen to this. 85% of HR professionals told SHRM, Society of Human Resource Management, 85% said workers with criminal records perform better at their jobs compared to workers without criminal records. But only 53% said they'd hire these people. Now, let me just tell you what this is about. This is what's wrong with America and the world. I'm not going to go down the rabbit trail, but I'm just going to lay it out here. This data says that we are so worried about being criticized that we won't act in a way that we believe is right. We're worried about what somebody on Facebook is going to say. We're worried about what the Twitter blue check marks are going to say. We're worried about a scintilla of a percentage of our company, tribe, or customers are going to say on the message boards. So we won't do what we know is right. 85% of HR professionals say that workers with criminal records perform better than workers without criminal records. You know why they perform better? It matters more to them. They've blown it. They screwed up. And they know they screwed up. And they know they got a second chance or a third chance or fourth chance. I don't know how many chances. And when they get that opportunity, they want a better future. They've tasted the sting of punishment. And isn't that how it's supposed to work? Parents, when your kid lies to you for the first time, do you not trust them the rest of your life? If that's the case, you have deep problems. You need counseling. But no, most of us don't do that. First time our kid does something stupid, do we shun them? Not if we're healthy, reasonable adults who believe in grace and mercy. So why are we treating people with a criminal record this way? Isn't that why we ground our kids? Isn't that why we punish them? We want them to taste the sting of consequences? So we're going to put you in jail but we're going to put a black mark on your forehead the rest of your life. Or back in the old days, the red mark, the A of an adulteress. We're going to put a a red A on this woman's head because she blew it. Really? That's what we're going to do? Leaders? HR professionals are saying they actually are better workers because they want the second chance. They want to prove that they are not stained for the rest of their life. Here's a direct quote from CEO Johnny C. Taylor Jr. of SHRM. When people with criminal records are excluded from the workforce, a large, willing, trainable talent source goes to waste. Amen and amen. However, employers have concerns and potential risk of hiring these applicants. Employers were most concerned about their own legal liability, as well as how clients would react. If they knew employees had criminal records, again, proves my point. You're so worried about somebody sending you a nasty email instead of doing the right thing. Why don't you have a stock email? I'll write it for you. I just did it. I just did it. We, can, we You know what I'll, I'll provide for leaders? We'll give you the, the transcript of what I just said. 
And why don't you just throw that at them? Ask them if they're a parent. Oh, you holier-than-thou, righteous, woke snowflake behind the keyboard. I don't want to make this about race. But if you really want to go look at these percentages, be fairly interesting to see how many of these are Latino or African-Americans. We're not going to give them a second chance. All the, you know, the woke mob won't like that. But let's just be honest for a second. The numbers are there. Go look up incarceration. The most liberal of my friends will go, we got a problem with our prison system. The majority are African-American men, and they think there's a problem with that. I kind of think there is too. I kind of want to give them a second, third chance. Hey, you know the best way to do that and keep them out of the prison system? Give them a freaking good job. Because the data bears out that they're not going to come in and steal your staplers. I mean, I'm not making this up. This is not my opinion. The data bears it out. Let, let's just break this down some more. HR managers who have hired employees with a criminal record said 83%, uh, excuse me, 83% had a substance-related felony like a DUI. Or had committed a misdemeanor crime like shoplifting. Don't even make me. I'm going to do it. How many of you holier than thou people out there stole some candy or stole something when you were a kid? Yeah. yeah I'm going to go ahead and raise my hand too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, resign. Uh, I'm going to draft a letter to Dave as soon as the show's over. Because clearly I can't add value anymore because I stole some of those caramel candies with the white cream in the middle, Joe. I remember doing that one time. By the way, thought I was going straight to hell. Never did it again. Didn't get caught. Confessing it now. Don't even make me ask how many of you have had a little too much to drink just playing poker at your buddy's house. And you only drove two miles. Had you been pulled over by a cop, you'd have had a DUI. Don't even make me get started on that. Don't make me ask you what's more dangerous Driving under the impairment of alcohol or under weed? Oh, boy, Ken, you've done stepped in it now. No, I mean, let's just be honest. Look, DUI or substance-related felony. A quarter of HR professionals said they hired individuals who committed a violent felony. And 10% said they hired an employee with a record of sexual assault. Ooh. Again, folks, if you pay the time, you do your time. Do you believe in restoration? I get it. Scary leaders. I get it. But the data is saying that 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 those who have a criminal record are going to work harder. They want to restore themselves. Hold them accountable. Put extra accountability on them. Absolutely. I get it. I just think there's something here. Leaders, I think there's something here. And I just think that we're missing an opportunity. I've gotten these calls, by the way. On this program, Joe, Madison, I've gotten these calls. And I tell these people, yeah, unfortunately, you are going to be discriminated against. And it's unfortunate. But leaders, all it takes is one leader, then another leader, another leader. Look at the data from Society of Human Resource Management and go, you know what? The next time I get somebody in here, I'm going to give them a shot. I'm going to pour into them. I'm going to provide additional accountability. But what if we treated people with a criminal background like we treated our own kids when they blow it? Or our own family members. It's too close to home, but I'm right and you know it.